My Hebrew brothers and sisters, 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshu Ben Yurei Israel, and we just want to take this moment to thank you for your subscriptions, thank you for your likes, thank you for your comment. And we ask that you continue to make comments and continue to like. And we ask that you also share this with your friends and loved ones. My brothers and sisters, we're just about 17 um, subscriptions to go. We are at 983 subscriptions as of now. And we thank you so much. We thank you, um, Dr. Murray. Yoshi Yahoo in, in California at the Ark. We, we just want to thank you and thank you and your folks for your assistance in, 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 in helping us to get to this point. All right. We finished, um, we finished Psalm 4 and we are now going into Psalm 5. And this psalm is is a, is, is, a, is a prayer of protection, a, a prayer of protection. You remember that um, King David, you know, you know the problem that he had with, the, you know, running away from his son, trying, his son trying to hurt him, even though he has such a deep love for his son. And uh, in, in chapter three, and chapter four is also related. Now in chapter 5, David is praying for protection. Now, I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, that the enemies that David is referring to here, they're not only our enemies to David, but they're also enemies to the Almighty. Because whatever they, whatever curses they throw at David, those curses they're throwing also at Yahuwah. And based on what David is saying here, first of all, in this prayer, he said, give ear, he said, give ear to my word, O Yahuwah. And say, consider my meditation. And he knows that Yahuwah is going to give ear to his to his um to his 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 his, his prayer. He's going to give ear to his prayer. Um, I want I want you to notice the word consider here because in this verse, in, in this this word consider is bane, bane. It, 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 that's the Hebrew word bane. And this word is bet yod anun, and it, it, it means to separate mentally, to distinguish, to understand, you know, to attend, to, to, to consider. So he's asking Yahuwah to attend to his, his prayer. Um, you know, it is a diligent request. Diligent, you know, and it's 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 a it's, it's a, a a request of direct discern discernment. You know, they perceive to be, you know. When you when you you pre, you know like a prudent person, right? A wise person is praying, and he's praying, and it, it, it's it's a, a a special kind of feeling, you know, where you have something that you you want to to relate to someone, you want to inform someone. And so this is what happened here in, 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 um, in, in Psalm 5, verse 1, where David had this feeling that it, 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 and it, it, it's, 
It's a kind of a request that is distinguished from any other kind of request. It's something where he's calling Yahuwah and he's asking him to understand. Really, you know something? When we think about David as a, 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 a he says a man of in the King James Version, he said God's own heart, but we know he's a man of Yahuwah's own heart. It's, you know, he, Yahuwah loves him and did a lot of to, 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 to help him and he made a promise that there was no other throne gonna, you know, anybody is going to come to, you know, that throne going to be, you know, David, David's dynasty going to continue, you know, going to continue. And, um, and, and you, you think of him being a friend of Yahuwah. And, and you wonder, why would he be using this kind of uh, words, you know, in addressing Yahuwah? And it's like, you know, like Yahuwah is far away from him, but, you know, is the, is the intenseness of this pain that he's feeling inside as, as the enemies are coming after him, and then, and, and then he cannot stand to... To, to see the enemies also not only coming after him but going after Yahuwah, the king. In, in, um, in, in, in verse 2 he said, you are my king. Uh, you know, the king here is, 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 is um, you know, you are my king. My king, he said. In verse 2, my king, my king, my sovereign, my sovereign. The word king is sovereign. My sovereign and my Elohim. You are my sovereign. You are my Elohim. In, in other words, you guard my life. King of my life. He is crowning him as a king of his life. He said, you are my sovereign. You are my sovereign. And so, so here we see in verse, in, in verse um, two, he said, hearken unto my voice. You know, of my cry, my king, my sovereign and my Elohim, for unto thee will I pray. What is saying here? My brothers, my sisters, when we're having a problem, here's a good example. That when you're having a, 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 an issue, or, you know, dealing with a, with, a, with a situation, please direct your prayer only to our Elohim, our Yahuwah. To, he said, to you only will I pray. The, the king, the, the word king or sovereign here is, is Malek. Malek. And, and you know, as I always say, Malek has a, great, a, a wider sense of the, the word Malek, but Melek is, is like, it's, uh, it, when you say Malek, you talk about the king to uh, sovereignty, but it's a wide range, okay? Um, and, and so, but Melek here is, is the word um, that, that means, you know, king royal, you know, means to reign, you know, talk about... Um, to rule and so on, okay? And it, it is uh, Mem, Yod, and Lamech. Uh, and, um, and, and also Fe Ape, meaning king royal to reign or to rule. Okay, so he's saying here, um, hearken unto my voice. In other words, he's asking to listen, pay attention to my voice. 
the voice of my cry. And he said, I want you to know the personal, the personal possession. Okay? Um, my king, my sovereign, and my Elohim. Now, my brothers and my sisters, if you want to get close to Yahuwah, when you address him, you, you cannot address him as if like you're a stranger. He knows the intent of your heart. He knows when you are going through issues. He knows when people are coming up against you. But you know what? He, he also wants us to come to him and to tell him, pour our hearts out to tell him what's going on. What, you know, he knows what's going on already, but he wants us to come. He wants us to come and to share it with him. It doesn't matter what it is. He wants us to come and to share it with him. He said, only to you I pray. Only to you I pray. Palal is the Hebrew word here. Palal. And it's a word like a pay. Uh, you know, lamed, lamed. You know, and, and it means to judge officially or mentally to intercede, to pray, to entreat, to make, to supplicate. And so David says that only to you. He said to you only. To you only. I pray. Don't pray to someone else. When you have an issue, don't run to someone else to help you solve it before you go to Yahweh. Okay? You go to him first. And he promised that he will never leave you nor forsake. Okay, that's his promise. And he, he, kept, he, he keeps his promise. In verse 3, he said, My voice shall not I mean, so my voice shall thou hear in the morning. So this gives you give an idea of, of, of how to pray, when to pray, right? If you, you pray in the morning, my brother, when you, you get up, the first thing you do, no matter how short it may be, but you utter a prayer to Yahuwah. Utter a prayer to him. He said, my voice shall thou hear in the morning. O Yahuwah. He said, in the evening. Uh, rather, he said, in the morning, I will direct my prayer unto thee. And will look up, you know. <laughs> In other words, I have faith in him, faith in Yahuwah. He's going to direct his prayer to Yahuwah. And then he is going to look up. So when we pray, my brothers and sisters, when we pray, can I overemphasize this? You pray. This, 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 this gives us a, a good understanding of how one went. In the morning, first thing, before you drink your cup of coffee or your cup of tea, pray. And in the morning, you're going to direct your prayer to him. Yahuwah. And then not only will you direct your prayer to him, but you will look up. You, you're going to wait for him to answer. 
and they have a promise that he will answer. My time is gone. But my brothers and my sisters, I want to ask you to be a blessing to someone today and walk with the King. Shalom.